Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with another tutorial from series of the ELK. I'm gonna to explain how you can create the user and role in Kibana. Basically, there are two ways you can create the role and the user uh, in Kibana. One is through the GUI, which you can go to the, to the uh, Kibana part and create the user and the role. Another way is through the API. Uh, you can use it in the dev tools and send the uh, endpoint, and then you can create the user or role. Uh, so in this session, I'm not gonna to explain about the, how you can create through the API, just through the GUI, how you can create it. Later, I will, I will make another video about that, how you can uh, do this scenario. So let's get started. First, you need to run the Elasticsearch and Kibana. Then when your server of the Kibana is up and running, just come to the search bar and type it as a role, or you can say the user. Doesn't matter, both are think the same. Security user, you will should find this one. And then uh, definitely you will see here in the security bar, and there's a user and the role. First, you need come to define the role because if you not define the role, then you cannot, uh, there is one option which you have to select the, the role for the user. So you should come here in top side, you can see the create the role and you should give the name. For example, I am giving the test for, and then you should uh, come here to define the cluster privilege. Uh, you, for, for for my side, I will choose it as an all, but it's depend on your idea how you can uh, define the privilege. There are so many items for this privilege, uh, so I'm, I'm giving as a like an admin for all of them, and uh, then uh, you can come to the index part uh, to define the which index. For my case, I won't giving the star for all of them. And then uh, what is the privilege of that? Again, I'm giving as a all, but also you can see that create uh, and, and so on, delete. So it's uh, very specifically, you can go through all of them and select a different point, but for purpose of the demo, oh, so, oops, I will select the all, then I'm um, coming to Kibana part. Uh, so you need to add the Kibana part here and uh, select the which space. So I'm again selecting all the space or you can select default one of that. And you can customize it or give a read to all or all, read, write and everything. For instance, if we go to customize part, you, you can see that uh, for different feature like a discover dashboard and visualize library maps and so on, you can give it as a read or you can give it all or as a nine. If it's not, definitely there is no uh, access for that. Or you can select all, which is, um, Using that one, it's already marked all for all features. Then create and a, yep, I think uh, create the role and it should come. Mm -hmm. But I Sorry, I forgot the name of that. Uh, I used the test, I think. Let me. Oh, yes, this one, test four. Okay, now it's created. Uh, then uh, you have to come to the user part and uh, come to the uh, create a user and give it the one user. Uh, yeah, I will just take this off. Okay. 
then you can give the full name. I'm not giving, or if you want, you can also give the email address. It's not mandatory. I'm not giving that, just the password. I'm providing one password. And then another, you need to confirm the password. Uh, <clears throat> and here you need to select the role. What is the role? Test four. Also, you can select a different role, uh, maybe one or two, then create the user. That's it. Now, exhaust is created. Let's log out and use the, this username. That's exhaust and giving the name. Here you go. And you can see all these parts are available for this user. Thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. And if you have any question, please write it on the comments. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Please keep watching my channel. I will upload new videos about the ELK and stay healthy and see you in next one.